Hallie and welcome to the Proper Pineapple, a crochet and knitting podcast. Um, if you are new, thank you so much for coming and checking us out. You can find me on the internet pretty much anywhere at the Proper Pineapple on the Instagram, on the Instagram, <laughs> I sound like an old lady, on Instagram, the Proper Pineapple, on Facebook, the Proper Pineapple. My email is the Proper Pineapple at Gmail if you wish to get a hold of me. Um, my website is thepropertineapple.com and you can find me on Ravelry as Miss MS Proper Pineapple. So just MS then Proper Pineapple, okay? Whew, that was a lot. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and hanging out. I love all my pineapple peoples. If there is a lot of noise, my cat, Stitches McYarney, is literally right here. Stitches! Right there, messing with stuff, guys. He's on the counter, which is a bad kitty cat, but what are you going to do, right? <laughs> oh, I know it's been a while since I've put up a video, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's just, okay, like, life gets busy, and then you're like, oh, i got to put up a video. But you know what? If I miss this day, it'll be okay. And I have to keep angling my glasses kind of down, guys, so there's not too bad of a glare. So sorry about that. But anyways, life gets busy and you're like oh if I just miss today I'll get another video up tomorrow or I'll get a video up tomorrow and then a week has gone by or two weeks have gone by and no videos have been put up and you kind of feel like uh, like relief but then I get to missing you guys so much so I'm going to be more regular with my videos and try to get them up I am going to cut back in the past I would put up two to three videos a week Probably going to put up about one a week. Every Friday, I think I'm going to put up a video. But, you know, and then bonus videos here and there as I want to. So, But I will try to be definitely more regular because I do hate when I take long breaks like I did this month. So, sorry about that. Love you guys. Please don't go away. <laughs> um, There's so much. I don't really think there's anything else going on right now in my life. Oh, actually, um, my mother, you guys, we call her Grandma Pineapple was in a really bad car accident. She was, um, it was late at night. And, you know, in Michigan, it's really snowy. She hit a large pothole. It flung her car over a bunch of stuff. Long story short, head on with a semi. Thank the Lord she is alive. She has a broken bone, some broken ribs, or I'm sorry, a broken neck, but just a bone in her neck. She's not paralyzed or anything, guys. Um, a, uh, a couple broken ribs, a broken hand, some gouge take out of her legs, stuff like that. So she's pretty beat up, but she is fine. She is at home. She is doing, starting her physical therapy. So if all of my pineapple people would please keep my mother in their prayers, I would very much appreciate that. And I will keep you updated on my mom's progress. Like I said, she is home. She's doing great. She's as sassy as she's ever been. So <laughs> we love her just the way she is. Um... I think that's it, right, Mr. Pineapple? Nothing really crazy new going on in our life besides that? I don't think so. No. Been a boring old life here in Texas. Which has finally gotten warm enough I can actually wear some of my shawls, right, babe? Yeah. This one, I'm going to take it off to show you because this is my pride and joy. Pride and joy, y'all. This is my It's My Birthday that I designed for our Mystery Crochet Along 2019. For my birthday obviously because you guys know I get so excited about my birthday <laughs> okay and we used um, paint box yarns four different colors I'm gonna hold it up here so you guys can see it a little better and it's all these beautiful puff stitches and beautifulness if you want this pattern it is now available on my website on Ravelry on Lovecrafts which are all linked down below so you can go check it out again it's called it's my birthday I love this so much, you guys. And I love the ones you guys made. Oh my gosh, so many made, so many beautiful shawls you guys made that I'm super, I just love looking at them. A couple of my favorites, gosh, I can't even remember. Oh, I know the, Laura from Home Fire Ridge, she made one that was stunning. Remember hers, honey, with the turquoise and the gray and the white? No, oh, yes, I do remember. It was stunning. But she, uh, so many of you did such a great job. Um, I'm forgetting her name all of a sudden. I forget. So I will remember and talk about them again. Anyways. So I love this shawl so, so much when I designed it and I couldn't believe how it turned out. I'm so glad I get to wear it again. Finally, my hair's all like, I'm having a bad hair day, you guys. Oh, well, right? Who cares? 
So I love wearing this every time I go out. Don't I get compliments on this, babe? Yes. Yes. Every time I go out, people are like, what is that? Because it's so crazy and all the different stuff going on. Absolutely love it. So I'm wondering if we should make a mystery crochet along, a yearly thing for my birthday. My <laughs> See, if I wear them regular, you get all of the window glare, which I think I'm just going to go with you guys because otherwise I have to wear them like this. And then I look like a weirdo because they're going up glass tear. And if you hear my dog panting, she's crazy. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm thinking we should make this a yearly thing. What do you guys think? Should we do another one this year? I know it's getting kind of late. I would have to really get cracking on the design to get it out by the middle of March so that you guys could get it ready. Um, I do think I kind of have an idea of a design if we do want to do it again this year. And I believe it will again use DK weight yarn. Again, I think I'm going to use the paint box yarns. I really liked how this turned out. So I think, I don't know. You guys let me know down below if you want to do it again. If you want to do it again, I'm in. I think I can get it done quickly enough that we can have a proper mystery crochet along again for my birthday. Um, I think that's about it. I do have some, some whips. I don't have anything finished because... With also not filming videos, I also got kind of lazy on my projects. <laughs> um, and I have a little bit of mail. So let's start right in with my whips. So the first thing I want to show you is in my bag by Laura from Home Fire Ridge. My feather bag. And you guys know if you've been watching what's in this bag. Because I've been working on this for Ebbs. I can't tell you exactly when because my phone is over there now. <laughs> and I can't look it up. But I'm working on it for a long time. Let me get out the picture. It is my Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. That's it if you saw it. It is a knitted pattern. So this is a knit pattern for you crocheters. But I, I crochet and knit, so we've got to be fair here. So I've been using... So first off, I was using Holly Bait by Iron Wheel Farms, which you guys know I love them, and I love Holly Bait. I think I have some plans for this. I'm going to talk to you guys about that later. Well, at a later podcast, not later in this podcast. And Boho Mohair by Stitch Together Studio, which they go together perfectly. And so I've been working on this for a couple of months. Actually, Squishy, can you come here, please? Squishy, Squishy. If you don't know who Squishy is, then you haven't been watching enough of my videos. Will you hand me my phone, Squish? Will you also come over here and put your cute, adorable face on camera since everybody will know? Look at my squish. Look at it. Mwah. Who's mommy's favorite? You. Me? No, me. <laughs> no, you. No, I don't have favorites. <laughs> he tells everybody I am. I'm looking this up on my Ravelry account right now because I was shocked when I originally looked it up and saw how long I've actually been working on this project. I started this Birds of a Feather July 17th, 2019. It is February something, 2020, and I'm still not even halfway through this project. <laughs> so you guys know I talked about how um, Natalie from the Love and Stitches or Nitty Natty on YouTube, Love and Stitches podcast was doing um, 30 minutes a day in the month of February, no, the was it January? January. She was doing 30 minutes a day in January on a whip. Well, I was not feeling it in January, but I thought it would be great to do that every single month. So I started doing it and I had picked my birds of a feather to work on and I got it to a certain point and then February 1st, I started 30 minutes a day. So let me show you. So last time you guys saw it, I was actually in the middle of this mohair section right here where this little pineapple stitch marker is well i went ahead and finished the mohair section before february started and then i've been doing um 30 minutes a day i have missed a couple of days so there was one day we were at church all day i missed that there was a couple of days i had a horrible migraine and just couldn't do nothing there was a day the children were sick and i missed but i've been doing pretty good so i did from right here right here all the way up so far in the month of February basically 30 minutes I can get two repeats done two repeats of the pattern done in 30 minutes which is four rows total um, and this took 15 repeats and I've gotten all of those done and now today 
and actually I've actually cast on the mohair you can't see it's really hard to see but I'm on the first section of mohair that I need to get going on more of this so I'm hoping to get quite a bit of this done because I'm loving it you guys look at this so the way the pattern goes is there is um, regular fingering weight yarn, then mohair, fingering weight yarn, mohair, a lace section, mohair, and they kind of go in between. So every other section is mohair, which makes it so soft and light and fluffy. I can't wait to wear this. Oh, I simply love it so much, you guys. If you have not done this uh, or haven't knit a shawl before, this might be a bit much, but I say you guys should totally knit if you haven't. It's fun. It, there goes one of my cats. I don't know if you saw her, but that was Frankie, Frankie Kitty. She's mad I've got the curtains closed. And all my yarn tails. I've got so many tails to weave in on this, you guys. But I'm having so much fun doing this now that I'm actually doing it. When I first started the 30 minutes a day, I was like, ugh, I'm not going to want to work on this all month. But I'm actually enjoying all the progress I'm getting done on it. And I'm loving the Holly Bait yarn. I really think I need to design something with that. What do you guys think? Should I design something with Holly Bait from Iron Wheel Farms? I think I should. So that is my Birds of a Feather. Okay, now this whip you guys have never seen. We're going to talk about this whip. This whip is in timeout. <laughs> it's in one of my bags I made. This one's got like unicorns and spacey stuff. Ooh, the camera got a little blown up. And the yarn I am using was a gift from the people over at uh, Made in America Yarns. It is this beautiful pink elephant fingering weight and uh, the briny deep, which is this deep blue. It's beautiful. And this is their Wayfair, which is their fingering weight. Love the yarn. Let's just talk about the yarn for a second. The yarn is stunning. I love it. The colors are really great together. I love how they contrast so well. But the pattern I chose, I don't know what I was thinking. So the hook I'm using is a 3.5 millimeter from uh, Touche Crochet. You guys know it's not focusing. There you go. You know I love her hooks. That's the one I'm using. The pattern, I'll put a picture right here, is called the Dottie Cowl. It's stunning, right? So, so pretty. It is a free pattern. So you can go and get it if you want. And it might just be me. I do not want to sit and say that the person that writ this pattern did a bad job or something. So it's most likely me, okay? The problems I'm having are most likely all because of me, not because of anybody else. The pattern to me, to me, again, guys, I'm not trying to be insulted to anybody, is written very confusing. I, I can't understand it. I literally cannot get what they're mean. I thought I understood it, and I got going. You can see here guys I got a couple of rows done and it's reversible but then I looked and I'm not doing it right and I'm at a part where now I can't even do what the pattern says to do <laughs> so wah wah I'm going to have to pull this out and I'm trying to figure out what to do with this stunning yarn because I love it it's all kicked up and ready to go so if you guys have a pattern idea for a two color something that would be high contrasty like this pink and blue Please let me know. I am looking for a new pattern because I simply can't wrap my mind around how they're doing this dotty cowl. I thought I was doing a good job. And now I look at it, it's all wrong. <laughs> it's all wrong. And again, it's my fault. I'm doing it wrong. So it's okay. It's okay, you guys. I'm all right with pulling it out. So I'm going to pull this all out and get it caked back up and then start a new project. So on my next podcast, you guys will probably see this yarn being used in something else. But I will link them down below because Made in America yarns are really, really nice. I absolutely love this yarn. It's so pretty. And they have lots of colors. I'm trying to find places to set these. I'll set that over there. There we go. All right, my next whip. I'm going to grab there in front of me. You guys have seen this whip too. It is in my favorite bag I've ever made. Just my lumberjack bag. Look at this bag, you guys. Isn't it cute? And look at the inside. It's like logs. I simply died when I made this bag. So actually, I saw this fabric at Walmart, the log fabric, and I'm like, I've got to do something with that. And then I was at Hobby Lobby, and we found this lumberjack fabric. And I was like, oh, dealsies. Love it. And then, of course, the red plaid up at the top. Got to do that. All right. The pattern I am doing is written in the stars by Rachie, Rachie Newman. Here is a picture of it. 
I simply love it. This yarn is by Malabrigo. This is their, their sock base. This is the Frank Ochre colorway. I, there we go. That is like true to color. I love this color. If I had to pick a second favorite color and it's not hot pink, it would be this color. I love this. And then this beautiful speckle that I, it's like disfrise or something like that. I cannot say the name correctly. Come on, focus on it. There we go. Beautiful. And I think they look great together. Squishy, what? could you stop with all the sound effects? <laughs> little kids get bored when moms are filming podcasts, but he's usually, he's a very well behaved little kid, so it's okay. So the last time you guys saw, I only had these three sections, so I've added three more sections on, and this is the pattern. Um, it is a paid for pattern, so I can't tell you a lot, but basically, you have your solid section, your lace section, and you just keep repeating that for a certain number of repeats. I am adoring this. Absolutely adoring this. I have a dress that's this mustard color, and I cannot wait to wear this shawl with it. Oh, isn't this to die for, darling? Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> he looked up from his phone and goes, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's pretty cool looking because he knows that that wasn't going to be enough for me. I needed more. <laughs> <clears throat> Yarn husbands. You got to love them, guys. <laughs> so here it is. I'm super excited to be working on this one. Okay, I'm going to be honest, you guys. This lace pattern at first is not, it's not ridiculously hard. You're not like, I don't, I'm not saying that you have to be like master crocheter to get it. But for me, I kept messing it up. Like I kept getting the wrong count. I kept doing it wrong. But I finally got the hang of it on my third attempt here. And now I'm like, oh, I see what you were doing wrong there, Ali. <laughs> so I love this. Absolutely love this. And since I've started this and found out how much I adore this pattern, I fully intend to, if you guys saw my, pro, um, my cue on Ravelry, there is a bunch of Rishi Newman designs because I'm gonna make a bunch of them. I love this. Look, it is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I want it to be done. Um, I am using a 3.75 hook from again, Touche Crochet, because you guys know I love her. And I said, oh, and my stitch marker. I'm gonna try to hold it up here. I'll just hold it up against the Frank Ochre. It is a stitch marker my best friend Al had made for me. Let me see if it's gonna focus. Come on, focus on this little adorable. It's a little snowman wearing a leopard hat and crocheting. It's got a little crochet hook and a ball of yarn. It's hard to see, but she had it made for me special for Christmas, and I simply do it, do it, adore it. It's from Lock and Lou. I will link them down below too. I love this, you guys. I cannot wait to get this finished. Um, now all these ends are not supposed to be there. If you follow her design, <laughs> of course I don't, because you know me. If you follow her design. You never cut your yarn. You just, you, you do this, I'm not gonna tell because again, it's a paid for pattern, but you do something and it carries the yarn all up the side. I decided I didn't wanna do that because I just love tucking in ends. <laughs> I don't know why. I really don't know why I decided not to do that. But it's okay, cause I'm gonna love it even having to tuck in all these ends. It's so pretty. Gosh, so pretty you guys. I definitely would say you should check this one out. Now, um, I'm gonna, down below, I'll link a lot of like the yarns and that stitch marker and stuff like that will be linked down below. But if you want these patterns and stuff, just go over to my Ravelry and you can look at my projects and get the links over to all these because I do link them all there. Let's set this guy over there, make it a pile. Okay, my next two designs I wanna talk about, I'm gonna pull them both up here real quick. My next two designs, have came out of a epiphany. <laughs> that might not be the right word, but that's the word we're gonna use today, guys. So, I watch um, the Noble Character Crafts YouTube channel, and I simply adore her. She is the sweetest, kindest thing ever. I simply love her. Um, and she, ha in her church, they do a ministry of prayer shawls and baby blankets for new mothers. And I thought to myself, that is an amazing thing to do for somebody. And I was like, I should do prayer shawls. But then I really wasn't even thinking of it. Um, 
Oh, hold on. I gotta do one quick thing. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I had to do a little adjustment on the camera. Anyways, I really, I was wanting to do it, but I really hadn't wrapped my mind around doing it. Well, then, um, a friend of ours is dealing with some personal, I'm not going to put their information out there because they don't have YouTube, so I mean, if they wanted it out there, they would. They're dealing with some, some stuff in their life right now, and they could really use your prayers, so I'll just say an unspoken for my friends there if anybody's out there. And I said to my husband, I said, I should make a prayer shawl. And he was like, oh, that's a great idea. Because <laughs> he never tells me it's a bad idea. He's always just like, oh, that's a great idea. And <laughs> just lets me do it. <laughs> and, okay, this cake is a hot mess. So I'm going to show you the other cake. So I'll show you this other cake to see how they look before you tear them all apart. And then I'll show you the one I'm working with. So my friend from New York, Cindy Marsh, was so generous and bought me two of these cakes. Um, Stitch Studio by Nicole in the cotton colors. This is one. Obviously, this is one that I haven't made anything out of yet. So beautiful. And Cindy, I love these so much. And now that I've been working with one, I want more so bad. When I come to New York, I hope they have these wherever you got them from because I want these so bad. They're so great. And you'll see why here in a minute. So the one I'm using, because I'm a little way through, it's kind of like caved in in the center, was baby pink to purple. And it was the color, let's see, does it have a color? Just dark purple to light purple purple pink is called is the color so that's it these are fingering weight um and there is give me a second i'll find the yardage here right there it is 1093 yards or a thousand meters so i'm gonna put this back in here because i have a it's like i have it in my my food truck bag which i got from um chasing acorns kimmy i love her bag she's such a sweetie so I got that. The hook I'm using, oh, the pattern that I'm using is the Raspberry Crescent Shawl. I'll put a picture here. It is a free pattern. So I really recommend this pattern. It is crochet. I think you guys will love this so much. It's super simple once you get going. So I am using a 3.25, I believe this hook is. Yes, a 3.25 hook. And it is, again, one of my Touche Crochet hooks. I love her hooks. It's like all touche crochet today, you guys. And this is mine so far. Um, I love it, you guys. Look. Isn't this pretty? Oh, so it started at the light pink. Get it to focus. And then it faded to the darker pink. And if you can see at the very bottom there, I have just gotten into the very stripe, first stripe of the light, light purple. Isn't this beautiful? Um, this friend happens to like pinks and purples i think they're going to absolutely adore this it's so beautiful i i say this about everything but i want to keep it one i had originally when cindy had given me this yarn i was like oh i'm making myself a shot of that one because i love pink and purple but when my friend went through this hard time i just knew that this was the perfect yarn for her so you could ask my husband i was like but 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 i really want to keep it <laughs> He was like, Holly, and I was like, I know. <sighs> My greediness only is for a second, guys, and that I'm willing to get rid of stuff. It's okay. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> he's laughing because <laughs> he knows. I'm always like, but what if I just get something else? Anyways, so I started using this cake, and I love it so much. I love the pattern. It's super easy, and it gives you this stunning, stunning shawl. I can't wait to have this done. Now, um... I am going to, I tried looking up Stitch Studio by Nicole online. I couldn't find it anywhere because I want to buy more of these cakes of the fingering weight cotton in the like thousand meters or the, you know, at least a thousand yards basically because this makes the perfect shawl for a prayer shawl ministry. So this one's probably going to be a prayer shawl too. So if anybody knows where I can get more cakes like this, I like the idea of the cotton because not that I'm not opposed to giving somebody wool, but giving somebody hand-dyed wool is almost giving them a burden because you've got to hand wash it. You can't just throw this in your laundry and wash and dry it. It can't do that. It's got to be hand washed. It's then got to be laid out flat to dry. So you got to make sure that that person is a, a person who will do that, basically. It's shock. I keep like, I want it to stay there. It keeps falling. And I just don't like giving that stress on anybody. So this cotton is great. It can be thrown in the washer. It can be put in the dryer. It will be fine. So if anybody knows where I can get more of these cotton cakes, 
that are like this the fingering weight because I here in Texas it's hot it's hot in Texas and I want to make them nice and light for people too so so that is my other project that should be done soon I'm working feverishly on that one and then my other one is another prayer shawl because there is somebody at our church that is also dealing with a difficult time there is a camera on my or camera there is a fly on my camera screen so I'm just gonna shoot Oop. there goes there goes it'll be back because they like to bug me I have it kind of scrunched up in this adorable bag from um, Home Fire Ridge. You guys, I love her stuff. You've got to check her out. I even have her stitch markers here because I don't actually need them right now for this project. So I just have them hanging there because I adore them. This person, I was pretty sure is going to be okay with the wool. So I had this cake of yarn that you guys legitimately, I loved the cake so much that I didn't want to get rid of it. But then once I started knitting with it, because this is a knitted pattern, I even more did not want to get rid of it because I love it. It is amazing. I'm just trying, okay. It is um, this pattern here, Changing Staircases. It's so, so pretty. The pattern is great, you guys. It's um, It's got a little bit of a complicated stitch in it for knitters. It is free, so I can talk about it a little more, but it's not that complicated once you do it once or twice. You're like, oh, okay. So the yarn is by Shirsty Cat. You guys, her yarn is just stunning. And it is called Purple Rain on my Raspberry Beret. <laughs> and I can't even say it without laughing. She has the best names. Um, and this person's favorite color is purple. So this is the yarn. Let me get it up close so to focus. Okay, that is about true to color, you guys. That is really great. It, look at all those different... It looks like grape jelly. I love it so much. Ugh. So I'm using, on my other knitting project, I was also using my interchangeable uh, Licky Likey needles that my husband got me, the Driftwood set. Here it is. It doesn't look all that great right now because I'm not that far into it. I just started. Let me try to hold it up. This is what I got. This little like scrunchity scrunch, right? But let's see if I can, if I can do this right. So there is a spot of stockinette oh it's not focusing so you do stockinette and then you do the lace work and then stockinette and then lace work and that's how you go but when you get this done and you block it look at how beautiful that lace work is gonna look so pretty that's the thing about blocking this is what it looks like before it's blocked but then if I was to hold it so it would be blocked look at how pretty it is so pretty and this is going to be kind of like an irregular shaped little triangle so pretty it's a free pattern i like i said i love it i love the way it is written at first that first little tricky stitch i was like what but i just went on on youtube and i found a tutorial by uh is it berry pink knits or very pink knits i can't ever remember and i was like oh that's what they mean okay i love it i find it to be super simple you guys and i cannot wait to get this done i think she's going to love this i i simply love okay let me see if i can get a spot of stock in it here to show you now guys my stitches are wonky because I'm still a new knitter but let me see if I put my hand up will it focus because I really wanted to focus on the color for you guys the problem is is it's so lacy you can still see my face so the camera doesn't want to focus it won't but this color is so stunning it's got lights and darks and ugh, so pretty anywho you guys so that is the last project I'm working on. I'm trying to stay focused because I went through and cleaned all of my areas that I keep my projects in, which believe it or not is quite a few. And I was like, why do I have all these whips that have been just hanging around forever that I haven't finished? And then I was like, oh, because I'm lazy. So, so I am going to, oh, that fly again. Gosh, you guys, that's a problem living in a camper, you guys flies just come more often anyways I'm gonna try to like focus more and get projects done quicker and go back and finish some of my languishing whips all right so I'm working on that trying so that is all of my whips and stuff so now we're gonna talk about mail so I've gotten mail from two people and then one from a company we'll do that one last so first off uh, Ra Ra, that's what I'm going to call you because I don't know if you want your name out there. She sent me some stuff to be part of a giveaway, which thank you so much. I always appreciate that because we are considering doing 
a big giveaway for my birthday either like one big giveaway or like 24 days of holly's birthday giveaway what do you guys think let us know down below if you want like one big giveaway or multiple giveaways like we do at christmas so what do you think they want honey uh well, probably multiple probably multiples because then more people win okay then i got a lovely package look at the size of this envelope from my friend vesta Thank you so much, Vesta. She sent me so much stuff in here. I'm gonna dump it all in my lap. Ooh. So many cute things. Okay, those I wanna talk about last. She sent me this, I don't know if this is a coaster. I guess it's a coaster, but it says take time to unwind. And look, it's got a kitty cat and a yarn ball. Did you guys see that fly land there? I told you it's attracted to me, I don't know. I love the coaster. I'm going to put it all back in the bag as I go. She sent a couple of crochet hooks. I could always use some crochet hooks. These adorable llamas. I, they're like glittery. One's blue and one's purple. I love these. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'm going to put them somewhere. Oh, look at this patch she sent you guys. Let's see, get it to focus. It's a pineapple with a face, guys. Like eyeballs. I love it. That all was in like a little baggie. She sent me these little like Valentine's llama baggies. So oh wait, there was one more thing in there. I don't want to be rude. Oh, oh, it's a little. I didn't see this. It's like a crystal sticker pineapple. Ooh, I don't know where that's going, but it's going somewhere awesome. Oh, and this must have been in there too. It's a little paper clip with a llama. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's a little pill that says chill pill. I was thinking of something else. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Will it focus on it? There we go, chill pill. That's actually really cute. So put that back in there. And this other little llama baggie she sent me. These three pins. So we got a lemon, a strawberry, and is that a pear, honey? Is that a pear? Yeah. I don't pear. eat pears, guys. So I. I don't even know what one looks like. <laughs> That's a legitimate reason not to know it. Oh, some of them have fallen off into the baggie. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. The, okay. Ah. Okay, that one was just a, a shiny little, she sent me some earrings. Some of the ones, the ones that are missing have fallen off in the baggie. They're not missing, missing, they're in the baggie. So this is the pack of earrings she sent me. Come on, camera focus. All right, if you see, there's palm trees and a flamingo. These ones were just um, crystally shinies. Some pineapples and these dangly pineapples, which are going to be my favorite. I love them. So I'm going to put those back in the baggie so that I can get all the baggy, the earrings. I'm going to roll the top down. Set them in there gently. I don't want to lose any. I'm going to wear those. Oh, another crochet hook. I forgot. Sorry. I'm just trying to make sure I see here. Okay, so then she sent me a nail file. It's purple glitter, guys. Love it. She sent me this beautiful book that says Be Positive. You guys know I love notebooks. I simply love this. Thank you so much. She also sent me this notebook, which is really cool. It's like geometric. I really like that. Oh, look at the card, the envelope she had the card in, you guys, with all these little llama stickers. Isn't that the cutest? And it was a little llama card. It's so cute. So she also sent me some Avon samples and a Tupperware book. Apparently, Vesta sells avon and tupperware uh vesta if you want me to give out your information on how to get a hold of you for either avon or tupperware please let me know because i'm not going to do that unless you tell me because you don't want to get the kind of emails i get <laughs> she sent me this adorable little bag little witches on it and stuff and it has a face wash in it or no a hair mask Unfortunately, the hair mask broke open, but it's only a little thing, so I, can, I don't want to pull it out because it'll get all squishy. I actually still want to use it. Um, it could still be used, so. And then the bag is like a rubbery kind of feeling, so I could just wash that right out. And then the last things she sent me, these are so adorable. So these are just little wooden, or like made to look like wood, little tags you can hang on stuff. Love those. Then she sent me a couple of... Um, like this one says hand wash only and then this one says we've got some that say uh made with love and lots of yarn and this took forever to make little tags guys 
I don't know if it's gonna focus on those. The bag is kind of, there we go. So cute, I'm going to put these in things. I love them. Thank you so much, Vesta. Actually, the day I got this, I was kind of having a sad day, which we all have, but I was, I was a little depressed, I was a little sad. And when I opened it up and saw all the cute little trinkets that you had given me, I, it just made me smile. Didn't it, honey? Yes. Yes. He's my yes man. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Can I have a Porsche? No yes man there. Yes. Ah. Okay, the next, I was so over the moon for this package, you guys. I could not believe it because I was like, what? Me? Little old me. I got a letter. Well, I got a package with a letter from Hirschner's, you guys, the big company Hirschner's. And they said they love watching my podcast. And they saw that I like working with like fingering weight yarns and I love making shawls. And a bunch of people signed the note. I feel all special, you guys. If I'm not special and like it was just something that they do, don't tell me. I want to feel special. So they sent me some yarn and a pattern. This is the pattern. It's called the Shifting Stripe Shawl. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And basically, oh, focus. There we go. It's the same idea as my uh, Cakes 2 to Tango shawl that I made, but with, um, with knitting. You're knitting. And it's using the Red Heart It's a Wrap Rainbow in two colors. And they sent me the two colors from the pattern. Um, so I didn't pick a color. They just sent this. I didn't know it was coming. So um, two skeins of the Foggy and two skeins of Whisper. This skein's a little kind of, let me see. Okay, here we go. These are the two skeins that made that shawl. Aren't they beautiful? Now, you guys know these are not my normal colors. I'm like, hot pink, please. But I actually think having something neutral like this in my wardrobe would be a great idea because sometimes I get dressed and I'm like hot pink doesn't go with that so I actually got two of each of these to make this show so I'm super excited to get started on that I'm totally going to get started on that very very soon I'm going to be posting lots of photos of it but it was so sweet of them don't you think they sent me this little see like a little package of yarn I like I kind of got a little like teary eyed I was like they they contacted me. I didn't contact them. I felt special for like a minute. But anyways, okay. Anywho, that is it, you guys. I don't have anything else for the podcast today. Um, I've already told you that we're going to go to a one video a week kind of format. Um, again, vote down below whether or not you want to do another mystery crochet along. Let me know on that one. I think that's about it. Oh, I will be at. I will be at the um dfw fiber festival this year and i'm so excited because i'm hoping to meet uh nelson woods i'm sure that's not his name but his name might be nelson i don't know it's probably his last name but anyways i'm so excited he will be there with his hooks you guys know i love his hooks and i'm so excited to get to go so sorry had a hiccup there if you are going to be at the dfw fiber festival Please let me know. I would love to like, or come up, find me. You know, I'll be dressed in something crazy or gaudy. You know how I am. So come and find me. I would love to take some photos. I would love to chat with you. Maybe you could be on one of my five crafty questions videos. Absolutely love that. And I also have some, there's a couple yarn stores around. I'm going to go and check out soon guys. So you'll have videos for those. And maybe we can plan some meetups at some of these yarn stores. So anyways. That's about it. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys, as always, for coming and watching. You guys know I simply adore my pineapple people. Have a great day. Bye.